Daljit, you know, in the spirit of the special one, is it possible for you to show me some dirty tricks and hacks in the game football manager? Yes, I'm back. Yes, Joey. A hack, you say? Well, this particular one has been around in the game for a really long time. Um, some people say it's simply just too dirty to use, and so they avoid using it. And many people already probably know about this little hack. It's called the duty hack. There is one duty in the game, which some would argue is the best. Some Eve have even asked for it to be included for every single role in the game, simply because it's heavily customizable. With this duty, you can basically tell a player what to do, more than what you can tell a hard-coded role to do. And on this show, I'm going to explain what that is. My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel. You'll also find me streaming three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on a different channel. Um, I do things like uh, looking at your tactics. I have a training safe where I talk about training. And on Fridays, I go into my long-term save with Kashim Pasha. On this channel, you will find me doing things like shorter form content, like tips, tricks, hacks, guides. Currently, I'm doing one um, called the Jose Mourinho Experiment where I delve into the tactical evolution of Jose Mourinho since the, from the time he was at Chelsea right through to Inter Milan, Madrid, and then to Spurs as well. And why did I choose Jose Mourinho? Because he uses tactics that are commonly used by the FM community. Furthermore, it's a chance for me to show you how a manager adapts in a game. And then I apply the same principles within the safe to show you what happens. And it's not a very long series. It's only going to be three episodes. The first episode talked about the challenges that we're going to face. The second episode talks about the tactics that he has employed over time. The third episode is going to be simply a summary of what's happened over the season and the tactical changes that I made. So don't forget to check that show out when it comes out. On a recent live stream, someone asked me this question. Can you stop a wing back from crossing? Now... That's kind of an extreme thing to ask. And, you know, I've also had this discussion on Discord as well, where people talk about if the wingback role is broken because um, they're having issues crossing the ball. Now, the thing is this. The role the wingback has got certain instructions embedded into it that encourage him to run with the ball. And crosses are going to be part of his game. We even have statistics in the real game for that, you know. So you can't really stop crosses. So in order for us to make sure that those crosses are completed or at least um, somebody in the team is able to deliver crosses unimpeded, we have to look at certain things in the game, including instructions like focus play. But there's also one interesting little duty in the game. It's the automatic duty. The automatic duty is the only duty in the game that allows you to customize roles like the wing bank, which give you a dirty little hang. On today's show, I'm going to expose how this is done and you will be the judge. So let me know in the comments below whether you use... On today's show, on today's show, I'm going to expose this duty. On today's show, I'm going to expose this duty and I want you to be the judge. And I want to hear from you on whether you've used this role and whether or not you're one of those guys out there who wants it for every single position in the game. On today's show, I'm also going to explain how this duty came about, how is it, why it's in the game, and whether or not it still has a place. When we play narrow systems like a 4-3-1-2, a 4-3-1-2, a 3-5-2, a 5-3-2, any narrow system which has got no wingers, you need those wingbacks to get up the pitch. You need those fullbacks to get up the pitch. The problem is when you use fullbacks, they might be a bit too reticent. They may not be able to give as much support as we would like. So, People end up putting in overlaps just to increase the mentality to get them high up the pitch. But sometimes this has undesired effects. So the general advice and the reality in the modern game is that when people play a 4-3-1-2 in the real world, they actually use wingbacks, players that are going to bomb down the pitch. Think of Maicon with Inter Milan. He was bombing down the pitch. So you want players that can dominate a flank and those that is where wingbacks come in. However... In Football Manager, I keep hearing the word broken. The wingback is broken because whenever he goes on the flanks, his crosses are blocked. Whenever I can't get him to cross the ball, right? So on a least recent live stream, I played this 4-3-1-2 formation and my wingbacks were crossing. In fact, when they couldn't cross the ball, they just passed it to somebody. They did cutbacks, bombed. You know, we didn't have a single issue with 
crosses in the game. Now, there are two ways of getting this done, right? One is with the focus play instruction. However, when you're playing a two-man midfield, the focus play instruction also kind of opens up your center with pitch because focus play encourages you to move, uh, to, to get more players involved in the passing action on whichever side of the pitch you add the focus to, right? So if you're playing a focus play on the right, you have more options for the wing back to pass the ball. So it makes sense. So some formations love focus play, others not so much. But what if you want another option? The other option is actually to use a duty. So when you go into the game, you've got wing back on support. But chances are, if I was playing a 4-3-1-2, I want my wing backs to be in attack. I need them to dominate the flanks, right? So I need them to bomb up and down the pitch. So if I'm playing this tactic, he's going to run wide with ball and get further forward. And that gives me a slight issue. Because he's still going to do certain things like he might try to cross on the byline. He might cr try and cross on deep. So the only option I really have is to play more wing back on support. Where, you know, I have the option of doing certain things. Uh, but the moment I go wing back on attack, everything is locked up. You know, I can't get him to dribble less. <laughs> he's going to dribble more. He's going to cross on the byline. I don't need him to cross on the byline. He, we've already got so many players on attack. He can cross on deep. But no, the, we're hard-coded to do this. And he's going to cross every day till Sunday. So I'm like, dude, he doesn't have to cross all the time. He can just pass the ball. But, you know, I'm screaming at the wing back, but his crosses are going to get blocked, right? So what can I do? Well, option one, focus play, right? That's the first option. The second option is actually to go to auto. Now, when you go to auto, voila, everything's opened up. You see, I can still get the wing back on attack, get further forward. I can get him to cross from deep, shoot less often. I don't want him to dribble so much. You know, he's got, he's got friends around him, so get the ball to somebody else. And I also want him to cross less often. So I want him to pass the ball, pass it to somebody else. I just need him to protect the flank. So this could be a wing back on Otto, whose job is primarily to get further forward, high up the pitch, but I don't need him to cross the ball a lot. I just need him to make sure he wins interceptions and pass the ball. What if I want him to, you know, intercept the cross field diagonal ball? To narrow. So wow, I've got so much customization now with this particular role. And the interesting thing here is, He's this mentality, automatic support. This is how it actually works. It follows the team mentality. So his mentality is actually going to be positive, right? And the only thing that's going to affect him now is if I add an overlap. Now, if I do add the overlap, his mentality will go up. So his initial positioning is even higher. But then I don't need to do this anymore since he's doing, he's doing such funky things for me. The funny thing about this customization is why it was introduced in the first place it's a hangover from a long time ago when um, there wasn't a tactical creator. We also had automatic duties back then. But it was an easier way for the game because the, in those days, uh, the team would change mentality. Any person who's played CM, Championship Manager, or the early editions of Football Manager, maybe 12, 13, and 14, they will probably remember how the AI used to change mentality all the time, like balance, cautious, then it'll jump to automatic uh, attack, or maybe it'll go very attacking. If we had overload mentality, if you guys can still remember. So this, this changing of mentalities was set up in such a way uh, with automatic duties in mind as well. So you could have a 4-4-2, right? With two automatic fullbacks or two automatic wide midfielders, right? And they will follow the team mentality. So a team could start out a bit cautious in the early parts of the game and it might have attack duty somewhere else. But only those attack duties will be taking a lot of risk. But the moment the team shot up its mentality to attacking, those automatic duties will follow the team mentality and join those attacking duties as well. So they would be on attacking mentality along with the attacking duties that were already on the pitch. So it was a very easy way for the developers to get the, the tactics for the AI to, you know, to adapt in matches. However, the use of automatic duties for the AI isn't as extensive as it used to be. There are currently quite a few ways for you to get your fullbacks to cross in the game. They can cross early, do cutbacks. You can have the right kind of tactical setup. You can use focus play. You can use auto duties in the game. There are plenty of options. Naturally, you can't do 100% cross completion because then the game will be broken. Uh, you just need to make sure that A, okay, if you're struggling, consider the use of an automatic duty. It's a hack. I personally don't like using it. So I want to hear from you whether you're using it or not. The other thing you can do is you can set up your tactic in such a way that you have inadequate support so that when the player does get up, he has somebody to pass the ball to. Now that takes a bit more, you know, craftiness on the part of the guy who's making the tactic. 
Finally, you can also use Focus Play. Focus Play can work with certain formations because it encourages more players to drift to the side of the uh, action, right? So if you're focusing play down the right, then your central midfielders will push out to the right as well to support the play and then make themselves available so that the person who has the ball, if his path to a cross is blocked, he might just cut it back to somebody else who could deliver the cross. Think of how Kevin De Bruyne crosses those balls, right? You've got the wingers with the ball, they are blocked, but then Kevin De Bruyne is always free to, you know, angle the ball to the far post. That cross is so easy to do in the game, right? And it uses focus play. This customizability has been in the game for a really long time. So much so that there have been so many requests to have it extended to all the other roles, including the striker. So why hasn't SI done this? Because it's going to give the human such an unfair advantage that AI won't be able to keep up. Remember Pharaohs and Barrows? The backward arrows and the forward arrows? Remember how much customization was going on back then? The AI couldn't keep up. They had to take it out after a season because the AI, the AI was just getting clobbered. Right? There was no way the AI could beat us because we were just customizing our tactics so much. The same thing will happen if roles and duties across the board are given these generic options. And I once asked an SI developer, is this a hack? You know what the response was? <laughs> Silence. They just avoided the question and went on to the next one. So you can imagine, um, I I do feel that this might go the way of the dodo because I see it used less and less by the AI. So I'm fully expecting this automatic duty to be removed at some point in the future. It'll be very interesting to see how long they keep this up because at the moment, it's, I don't see the abuse level. But, you know, who knows? It could get abused a lot more. Well, if you enjoyed today's show, please hit the like and the subscribe button. Let me know what your thoughts are. And once again, um, I stream three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's on a different channel. So if you tune onto this channel and you're wondering where, what happened to all those live streams, yeah, it's happening on the next channel. The links are below. Please join me there. These kind of discussions always happen on those live streams where we're talking about hacks. And I, the, on the last show, I think I did something with a hack. I, I, yeah, I did a 4312 and I showed you exactly how I made it work. Right? So... Um, join me there if you have any questions about tactics. Get ready to bring your saves as well. Up, you know, if you have problems with one of your saves, I'll just pop up a link. You just like, can upload it directly to my servers, and I will be able to take a look at it and try and help you out. So, if you found today's show useful, you know what to do. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for watching today's show. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you again soon. You guys, take care. Bye bye. Let's see if we can make this work a second time. This is the defensive one. The defensive. Oh my goodness. Really, I, I can't play defensive football. I really can't. It's like, it's not for me. I spend too much time defending. It's so easy to play attacking football in this game. Attacking in this game. Defensive, you just have to like, you know, uh, pray <laughs> really hard. Once again, I want to thank you for watching today's show. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. In defensive systems, you definitely need to have outlets to play those passes. You need your attacking duties in front. You need more than one playmaker or at least, you know, a Mazala with direct passing. So we went with double, right? Because they are a double pivot. Wolves are a double pivot in midfield. Both of them are equally capable of playing the you know, killer balls. Um, Moutinho and what's his face? Like Adama Traore, right? He does a lot of roaming. It's like sometimes he's not on the left flank. Sometimes he's uh, sorry, not on the right flank. He's in the center of the pitch. So we, I want to give what a nice goal. That's the way, man. That's the way we want to play. Very direct, very quick. See that? Moutinho. Boom, baba. Gives it to Samedo. Samedo goes down. And then he plays that ball out for Raul.